For the second example, I'm going to use a root 4 because the square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, a root 4 is two squares side by side. Which makes it easier to find the golden section mathematically because you're looking for the reciprocal, which is dividing the long side into the short side. Let's say the long side is 9 inches and the short side is 4.5. You just divide 9 by 4.5 and you get 2. Then you take whatever the measurement is on the short side, you divide it by what you just found, and that's where the reciprocal falls into the long side. And the third way is manually, so here I'm going to use a root 5. And again, this works for any rectangle of any dimension. You simply find the right angle of any corner to the primary diagonal, and where that intersects the edge, that is the golden section. So that's 3, 4, 5, but on root 2, the golden section is actually in the center, and drawing it manually gives you the armature of the rectangle, which is how you find thirds of any rectangle in any dimension. And that leaves us with a square or the root 1. It generates its own rectangles like the whirling square or the 1.5. Using it within rectangles is actually my favorite way to design, and it's what I do best.